Tipsy, is anybody home? Honestly and truly, the bottom line is I'm not happy with where I am right now in life. I am currently at work. I'm on my lunch break. I wanted to go ahead and start the video. This video is long overdue. I've tried to, this little booger. I tried to do it multiple times. And so this is just kind of like a life update. I really debated about doing this, but I be looking at the last videos. Like I be trying to post shorts and stuff, but looking at my last video, I don't think, I think the last time I posted an actual video, it's been like a month or two months. It's been a long time. And my life has just been really hard for me. Like, and I know a lot of us are, you know, going through things or whatever, but honestly and truly the bottom line is I'm not happy with where I am right now in life. Obviously, I know that you don't have to be like there's not a there's not a a certain time where you're supposed to be in certain places, but financially, I'm just not in the place that I want to be. And it's honestly been like that since I decided to move out on my own. It's been really hard for me. So anybody that's wanting to move out on your own, just make sure that you have more than enough money saved up because um, that is my biggest problem is that I did not save up enough money. So um, I moved. I no longer have a car, so I'm waiting on, I'm trying to save up to get a new car. Um, and it's just it's just been a lot it's been a lot i started this new job i told y'all about the job um started it back in february i don't like it this honestly was not my ideal job like this was a last option this this one this job was the job that it was like okay take this if nobody else gets back with you and like i thought i had a good lead i thought i had a good follow-up for this one job but they, ba I did my drug test and they basically ended up being like, oh yeah, that was a family, cause it's like a small business. And they were like, they ended up, we ended up having a family. They, the, excuse me, the recruiter told me that they ended up having a um, family issues or something like that. So they were no longer like, the position was no longer available. First of all, that makes absolutely no sense because why did y'all start interviewing for the position if you knew Anyway, so that happened. So I'm at this job where I'm not happy. I literally dread coming here every day. Like I do, I just be wanting to call out, but I'm trying to save my PTO for, you know, actual vacations. But it is just y'all in the, the, I don't like the environment. Like last week I was finna have a panic attack because they all about sales and stuff. And I'm not that kind of person. This economy is so hard right now. Like everybody is struggling. And for people to like, we still expected to try to sell stuff to people and i really don't like that because i'm not that kind of person it's just been a really hard time you know I, it's it's just it's not the best and i keep trying to stay positive i've been applying for other jobs to see you know if i can get hired or whatever and the job market is just terrible like you got people listing jobs that they really not even hiring for or you got people listing jobs and they not paying enough like it's it's really hard so i just wanted to come on here and just really just give y'all a recap of why i've been gone it's like i be having footage but then i don't have the motivation to record it i really love youtube as a hobby that is like one of my outlets but for some reason i just don't be having the drop like y'all this one video y'all should have seen it it'll be out before this video but this one video that i just posted it's only six minutes long it's taking me weeks to publish it and then like it's i don't i don't know i don't know what's going on but i just i'm not happy right now with where i'm at and it's like i'm trying to do what i can to get to where i'm at but it's like you're constantly apply. it's very discouraging when you're trying to apply for better jobs and stuff nobody's getting back with you or people just lowballing you all together it's just discouraging so i'm just really trying to get out of this funk that i'm in you know what i mean that's all I gotta say right now. Um, I just wanted to update y'all because I feel like I really do because it has been a while since I actually posted. So I just wanted to give y'all a quick update on what's been going on. Much, much, much later.
right y'all we made it to our destination i forgot to record <sighs> yeah i forgot to record i i got a little bit of footage but not much but anyways we here chance dang king Okay, so I'm having to do this very quick because I'm in a rush. I was supposed to be home a long time ago. Anywho, quick little grocery haul, and I'm gonna also show y'all what I ended up getting from Rainbow as well. It's two cans of Rotel, Parmesan cheese, we got Hawaiian rolls, regular bread, oat milk, little bitty cheese for Rotel, rotisserie chicken, ground beef, dryer sheets. Right here, I love this, I think it's super cute. I hardly ever wear body suits, but this one I thought was super cute. Much, much, much later. Good morning, y'all. I know it's been a, a little minute since I picked the camera up, but I am on my way to my nail appointment. I'm running a little late. It's at 9 30. It's gonna be 9 40 now. But you know what? Some when you have early appointments, sometimes you be beating them there. So I'm hoping that that's the case today. But anyways, I just wanted to say good morning to y'all. Uh-oh, focus. Tipsy. Is anybody home? <laughs> Left the nail shop. This is what my nails look like. Yes. Y'all see the purple? I love it. Love it, love it. I've had to go to a new nail shop because my old lady that I used to go to, she left that nail shop. So, um, I haven't ate all day, y'all. 
So I'm eating some Panda Express, but yeah, this new guy, guy that this is my second time going with him. The first time he was fixing something that somebody else at his shop messed up. And he's such a, like, he does such a great job. Any little thing, if it's a small mistake, he's fixing it. Like, that's what made me go back to him. So today I got a manicure and pedicure. Y'all, he gave the best massage ever. So yeah, that's my new uh, nail person at this point. And I don't want to keep eating in y'all face, so I'm going to talk to y'all later.